washing my hair um, as you may probably can tell and I figured I would give you guys an update kind of just a little hair update since I did my trim and how my hair has been reacting to the aloe vera hair oil that I did if you did not watch that video of how I made that oil it will be linked up here in the cards um, but I have my oil here I'm just going to show you guys like what I do, what I've been doing probably like for the past six weeks um, with my hair after I wash it. It really is literally like so simple you guys. So right now my hair is not dripping dripping wet but I kind of don't want it dripping dripping wet either because the oil is going to do that for me. Um, and I just take some clips that I have here that I got from my local beauty supply store and I section my hair off um, usually in fours and I'll just twist that up and we'll twist this up alright and now I've got this hair here I did already detangle in the bathtub or in the shower when I was washing my hair and I used this um, Tangle Free by Kala. Um, I guess it's kind of like a tangle teaser brush. It's got cute little pandas on it. Um, and I got this from TJ Maxx. It was like $3.99 and so I figured I would try it out. And I really like how it detangled through my hair. Like my curls were popping when my conditioner was in there so I was like ooh. That's how I want you to look outside of the shower. So it's pretty detangled. I'm not gonna do um, any further detangling with it. Like right now, I think I'm just gonna go in. So here is my oil. She saw me make this in the video. So like I said in that video, I would suggest getting an applicator bottle with a top. That way the air does not mix in with your aloe vera and start turning it brown. Um, which is kind of what you can see it's doing here. It's more so red right now because I've had this in the refrigerator um, and I've had it in like a little Ziploc bag to kind of keep the air out. So it's it's slowing the process of my aloe vera browning. Um, but yeah, if you get a top on it, you know, when you get through mixing it together, put it on there, you should be fine to go. Um, and normally what I do is I kind of target my scalp first because I feel like this is the driest for me. Um, but there we go, ooh yes. And you guys, the peppermint oil that I put in here, it makes it feel so good. It gives like this tingling sensation, um, which peppermint oil, if you are not familiar with, it does um, help the blood circulation in your scalp so that your follicles you know, can grow healthy and get the nutrients that they need. Um, but you do have to use like a carrier carrier oil with it you know like jojoba oil or olive oil avocado oil whatever oil you want to use normally I kind of get that really moisturized especially in my crown area if you guys know that's my problem area so I get it really well on the actual scalp and then I kind of just finger massage it in so it helps the peppermint oil that I put in there um, and the um, vitamin E oil penetrate really well and then I just put some in my hand um, however much my applicator bottle will let me to get out and I just finger rub it finger detangle it through my curls which I really like this I think I want to try this with like a wash and go because it really defines my curls and it has them popping like look at that you just see how that nice little curl Oop. glorious now you can go overboard with peppermint like I did so when you put it in your 
oil or when you're mixing your oil in your hair the fragrance can be a little strong so if you see me like a slight teardrop is just because peppermint oil I kind of overdid mine but you can put as much or as few as you would like it doesn't last long like once it's been out like you gotta look at that like doesn't that look so pretty and then you just slap some gel on there and call it a day Now, and that's literally all I do. That's all I have done for like the last week. Um, I kind of was wearing some wigs and stuff. So I would usually put them in about like four plaits. But other than that, like that's the only product that I've been using. And this literally keeps my hair, um, keeps my hair like soft. Mm, a little dry. We're gonna need to add a little bit of water. Um, it usually keeps my hair soft. Sorry guys. So I just wetted this up a little bit because it got a little dry. Um, but this formula usually keeps my hair soft for like the entire week. Like I have gone a whole week. I haven't had to add any moisture to my plaits or anything when I've been wearing my wigs. Girls that will fuck with your conscience Girls hate when fellas go missing And shawty you ain't no different These days it's hard to meet gentlemen Feel like my love life is finished I've been avoiding commitment That's why I'm in this position I'm scared to let some I am finished adding the aloe vera hair oil um, To all of my sections I just want to get a little bit Right here And just look at the look but um, this is what my curls are looking like after I have added it. And really I feel like, sorry you guys, peppermint overload. Um, really I feel like I could just add like an oil. And um, I mean not an oil, <laughs> but a gel and she'd be good to go. Like this could basically be my leave-in. And please be aware that this does get messy. Okay. And so, this is what it's looking like. That is not a perfect part, but I don't really think that I'm going to be keeping it in a part to so speak. I don't know, we'll see how it's feeling right now. It looks a little better. 
Um, so this is what she's looking like. Normally I would either put some, you know, like I said, flat sand or I might put it up into uh, um, me. As far as my trim, I think it's uh, really starting to grow out since I did that trim video, um, which if you're interested, I will also list here in the card section. Um, but I like it. I feel like my ends look a lot healthier um, and not so thin. So I'm going to probably do another trim because I'm not really one to keep up with trims like literally for the past three or four years. I probably trim my hair like once a year. Not a good thing, I know. So, I'm probably gonna give it a trim uh, maybe at the end of this month, and then we'll see, you know, how she grows, what she does. But we're just gonna let her live right now in this curly moment. And I will, you know, if I do style it, I'll come back and either come back on here or else I'll just show you some pictures in the end, like I usually do. Um, but again, thank you guys for watching. Um, if you like this kind of content, give me a thumbs up and subscribe so we can keep in touch. You can see more. You can let me know what you want to see. So, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, glow fam.